guys. So, we got all this torqueless stuff in, right? You probably saw it on our little teaser that we did. Um, so, first thing we're installing here, uh, we need to get installed because we need to go scouting for some elk, is uh, we're going to be adding our super truss, uh, not the super truss extension, but the, uh, but the actual super magnum hitch. So, the super hitch magnum. 30K, 30,000 pound hitch. You can see your tongue weighting right there at the hitch. Now, keep in mind that decreases as you go back um, away from the uh, truck, with your truck hamper extension. So, we have a 36 inch uh, super hitch extension. So, we'll get, I'll show you how to put all that together too during this process. And uh, of course, we're going to show you how to put all the camper mounts um, down onto the frame of the truck and all how all that works too. Um, but today, we're just doing the hitch. I don't know if I have enough time to get everything done for the weekend so we can get on the scout. So, we might end up using the Brophies one more time. We got a nice shop in the new house, which is pretty nice. We're excited about that, so. Okay, let's walk over here. So, anyway, 30, this is a 34 inch extension. It's actually a little short for I needed to hit the back of the camper. This is the, you know, pretty short. Um, the extra two inches is gonna be really handy. Um, where the trailer was, I could still make turns and everything like that. It was just super close to the bumper, so I'm gonna be happy pushing it out a little bit more. 34 inch extension, it does have a bend in the middle um, to kind of add some suspension up. Uh, this hitch right here is rated for 6,000 pounds, unweight distributed and then 8,000 with weight distribution, 450 tongue weight, uh, non-weight distributed, and then uh, 600 with weight distribution. Obviously, I don't run weight distribution on the camper, which I'm thinking about changing, even with the new Super Trust set, though it's drastically more weight carrying ability, it's just good to have weight distribution on the back of this. And there's another reason for that too, which we'll show you in another video why I'll probably have a weight distribution hitch in general. So I have my cord extension here, which will just, I'll be able to unbolt and go right to the Super Trust and be able to still use my extended cord. And these are just attachment chains that I use there. What's happening here, what I'm giving you guys a kind of a feel for, is if you imagine another, you know, 2,600 pounds of camper in the back, this thing pushes down quite a bit, and I have to have the hitch up really high. Um, but there's a ton of forces on this hitch that's articulating off one point right here. So since all that weight's right here, if you start bouncing up and down the road, you can see what kind of forces you'd be dealing with. And this is without a camper in the back, extruding more forces on the truck and all the truck's components. We just don't need that. We don't need that kind of slop in the system. I understand you can weight distribute it, but it's not going to still give you the equalizing power of this super truss hitch from torque lift, which is why I got in touch with it in the first place. So, as you come back, you're of course increasing your tongue weight. I got three horses in the back. You know, you're gonna be, you're, you're pushing somewhere up of high, you know, right around 3,000 pounds of horses on top of a, you know, a 5,000 pound trailer. It's just not gonna do it, guys. It's too dangerous. Don't do this. Uh, invest the money into, into something that makes it safe. And Torquid products make the products to do this safely. And they are quality products. They are custom made for your truck. There's no drilling required. Guys, anybody can do this that has a handy, you know, handy, this around tools. I mean, it's not, anybody's mechanically inclined can do this. It's not gonna be hard. Um, and we're of course gonna show you the full install. Uh, let's show you one more little bit first before we go any further. But that's kind of where my system was. With the boat, it was okay. It was still a little nerve wracking once you got weight in the truck. I didn't like it. So, when we get into the frame mounts, here are the brophies I've been using as tie downs for the camper. They work well, um, they're not very sturdy. If the camper was a really jerk up on the truck or something, uh, I, I would imagine they would just tear your bed up and the brofie would be gone. But basically it just works off a hinge type system. Uh, if you can see right there. And so you just kind of bolt them in there, they kind of go around the lip and then they push on the truck bed there. They work, I mean they do okay. Um, not safe, not very sturdy um, for your camper. Um, so we're gonna go with frame mounted, which also coincide with the truck hitch. Now keep in mind, all the torque lift stuff, uh, we are very fortunate for having them sponsor the channel. Um, both us and Running Range, which you'll see more of the horse stuff on Running Range, uh, for hunting and fishing and all that stuff and be able to tow our campers safely and tow what's behind us safely as well. Uh, even though they're sponsored, I was already looking into the products, already gonna purchase the products. They're, they're the number one manufacturer of stuff in the country. Uh, they're, they're absolutely amazing. I cannot say enough about them. We'll get more into it as we install stuff and everything. Um, but I just kinda wanted to go over that quick run around. Don't do something cheap like this and risk components of your truck, someone's life on the highway. Uh, go ahead, invest the money from the start, unlike what I did, 
and get to get the torque lift stuff and get the frame mounted stuff and get the proper hitch extensions to tow these things around. Like I said, I never towed animals behind it. I was just too nervous once I saw it initially on. I said, no way, I'm gonna have to save them and get the torque lift stuff. Um, so I didn't do that, but I did tow a boat behind it and I just never really got that comfortable. There was a lot of movement back here and the torque lift stuff is gonna solve that. So stay tuned guys, we're gonna get into the install here. What we're gonna do here in installing this hitch, it's pretty uh, easy and self-explanatory. We're going to uh, remove the uh, hitch, or not the hitch, the uh, Spare tire, duh. So it was dark in there and hard to see. Okay, there we go. And we just insert this here. Get the spare tire moving down. This is a good time to check your spare tire and see the condition as well. What I'm gonna do is, because I know this isn't gonna be as detailed as it could be, um, as someone like super professional doing it, I'm going to link to a page that has done it. And that way, we can show you how to do it. Basically, this is what we're doing now, right now, just lowering this down. Okay, so now what we're gonna remove is we're gonna remove this heat plate right here. Side gap 10 millimeter. So get those loosened up. There's two on the side here, and then there's two on the back. Uh, two uh, nuts it looks like. So we're we'll gonna get these off, and then uh, we'll pull this down. So the heat shield's off, we will be replacing that back. We will require a little bit of uh, a little bit of trimming to uh, get it done, but uh, yeah, so we'll go ahead and uh, keep moving on. Okay guys, we're working through the install here. Um, so far, the hardest part of the whole deal has actually been loosening the bolts in the uh, factory OEM hitch um, to loosen it up, because um, they were a little seized on there. Make sure you have the proper size socket, I had to run and buy one. <laughs> Um, that's a uh, 21 millimeter as good that's going to be you know pretty much need 19 and three quarter for everything else um, so that's like 21 there so I had to break them free with a uh, ratchet and a breaker bar and then I'll go and I was able to take my impact and break them free all right guys so hopefully you can see all this okay you're not gonna be able to see this one too well because it's back up in here um, but basically what I'm doing right now is we got the main hitch loosened up and now I've just been fishing bolts to mount the new hitch in. And uh, so taking these bolts here, we've just fished them through and we're gonna do this last one right here. Maybe I can get to a better angle over here. Let me see if I can maneuver under the truck here without whacking my head or something. Okay, so that might work. Hopefully you guys can see that well enough. It's not terribly well lit, but. Okay, so it comes with the fish tool, the kit does, for this torque lift hitch. And all you gotta do is you fish it up through this back member of the frame and find your wire. It's easier in the longer ones because your wire kind of naturally wants to go down, but this one you gotta fish a little bit. So now we are through the last hole. I have my spacer, my star uh, washer, and bolt. And then basically you just kind of fish it up in there. There's, a, there's some objects to maneuver around. Don't get me wrong, it takes a little bit of finagling. Okay, get your plate to drop down in there get that lined up it's not too bad all right and then we can find the end of our bolt here and then what I had to do on this one is I kind of had to push up on it to get the bolt to drop through because there's some objects in the way there but once it drops through boom there we go and now I got this side done and I also have the other side done it is the same on both sides guys um, so basically that's how far we are okay so, okay, so this is side plate time we've already got one side hung uh, so we're going to do this other side real quick. So these are the same bolts that I showed you I fished through. 
So yeah, so here's how we're kind of doing it. You have to be careful with this because you could push these bolts up into here and you'd have a hard time uh, getting them back down. Is that last one coming through? Um, this side, yes. This side is having some trouble. Ignore the baby cry. We're playing how fast can the baby eat the snacks. Make sure this is not Okay, that one's in. This one is a lot harder to reach on this side. You said you're holding it on top? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Thank you. I don't know for how long, because I'm kind of contorted, but. I've almost got it on. That should be on. Okay. I might have had that on upside down, so we have to recheck that. Just have to push up, push down, tighten around. <laughs> All right, we're going to the truck here. So we got it. It's so dark. There we go. You got the two side straps installed there and there, as you can kind of see. Okay, so those are installed. That's all we had to do. Um, so far, so good. I've already wiped this off with a degreaser. Give us some room here. Yeah, okay. Let's put that down up against the weld, and then bam. Okay, now we move on to lifting this sucker up there. Now the wife helped me put it in. Okay, go grab this side here and pull it out. It's kind of suspended there. All right, guys, this is the first part of our torque lift camper series. There's the hitch installed on the truck. I am so excited to use this and how much safer it's going to be. So we went in, we uh, torqued everything down to spec. I will let your book that you're supposed to read uh, refer to specs on torque um, that you should torque these to. I just got to put the uh, heat shield back in and uh, put the spare tire back in and then we're all done under here. Um, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna install the uh, camper brackets here. So we'll get the hardware out to do that real fast and get those put on, um, that way that's done. The installation of our Torque of Talon rear tie downs. This is pretty nice if you were to, to do this after the fact and didn't have new ones, there are some new uh, bolts in here which is nice you know they get corroded and stuff like that not really corroded but wore out and get a little grimy anyway so here is your uh, talon receiver that's going to go into your torque lift uh, super magnum hitch um, so it just slides in i believe they can, these can go either direction these look to have a little bit of an inward curve 
when you put them in like this um, versus an outward curve going backwards. I kind of like the idea of the inward curve, so we'll see how it looks with the camper on it. And I guess worst case is I take two bolts out and uh, flip it back over. So we'll test fit all this before we actually go big with it. And then just uh, insert our bolts here, the lock washer, the nut. That's why we have a hammer. Let's see what's not jiving here. We're grinding on something that we weren't grinding on. So let me just pull this out real fast and we'll take a look gander here. What we're doing here first to make sure we're all kosher. There we go. Okay, yeah, so it looks like the metal's just a little bit. Yeah, as metal's worked on it, will warp a little bit and change its shape. So we're just gonna get this top one on first. We can maneuver this bolt in here to suck it in once we're tightening everything down. There's that one. We'll come and get this one. Give this top one some heat first to kind of line it up. Tighten that one down a little bit more. Okay, three eighths and nineteen. Suck it in, just like that. Yep, we're all flush now. There we go. We're all flush. Looks good. It's all tight. And then basically all you do is you take your uh, bracket, slide it in. For me, it's going to be the second position, it looks like lengthwise. I don't think I need to be all the way out here, but we'll again see when the camper's on. And then you take your pins, and uh, I'll probably go up with them. Like that. There we go. And that's your uh, torque lift rear talon tie down hooked right to your magnum hitch. Called. Guys, I'm telling you, this took like two and a half, three hours to get it all in, get it all installed, get everything torqued and put on. Anybody can work with tools can do this. That's the best thing about torque lift. You can come to your house and you can put it on your truck, mind your torque specs, do it properly and safely, but it's doable, guys. It's not the, it was not overwhelming at all. It was, it was super simple. The instructions were clear on how to do it. I need to learn how to read them better. Um, so you, we finally arrived to the super hitch. So let's go ahead and show you how to get that installed. So we're gonna finish opening it up here. Okay. We'll go ahead and we'll insert our top portion into our receiver adapter. And in here, okay. So your top part of your hitch is in. This washer. I you should check that in this too. I don't see anything.
Okay, so there's your two main components of your uh, super trice hitch right there. Okay, so we'll start with our brackets here. And this just ties everything together. Okay, so we got our shim plates and our bolts. Go ahead and slide these shim plates up into the position here. We also got to add our second shim plate on this side. And we're still on our shim plate on the bot on the back, same as we did the front. Without dropping everything, hopefully. I guess if I was smart, I would do these the same direction. But I'm not smart. Up here. Okay. Let's go as far forward with that as possible. Move to the rear here with the other one. Tie them together. Okay. So we got the other side here. Two washers per side per bolt. Washers. We got our locking nut here. Our locking nut here. There we go. We're just going to go finger tight on everything right now. Slide this some more center there. Double check here. So one collar in the middle of the extension and one at the end. That's what they want. Basically, what they want you to do is measure the bottom, measure the top, and then do it in the middle there. I'm gonna eyeball it. Okay, so your hands on, I'll tell you when to hold it. Now of it. Right there, I think it's gonna be perfect. Got it. Come in and tighten this first bolt. Tighten that bolt. Should be able to let go.
Now before installing the accessories, the moment of truth will be, can I actually slide this out of here? Did I do it right? So this will either be a miracle or a blooper. I won't say I know what I'm doing and I wouldn't follow my advice, I'd follow their advice, but it worked. So. The worst part about extension pieces or the uh, adapters is they like to uh, get stuck in here. Bring that back up how it should be. I'd say it takes no more wiggling than any other hitch. So. Up. Bottom. And then you'll want to go ahead and torque these a spec. I won't give you the specs, go off your book. So we'll go ahead and we'll get the rest of this installed and uh, walk you through it. Okay, we're going to go ahead and add our uh, light bracket. Drop those in. Got a lock washer and a nut. For each little bolt. All right, we'll go ahead and snug these up and get right back to you. All right, guys, we just got to put together a couple things. A couple last little deals. So we have our turnbuckles. And locks, chains. What we need. Push those through. It hooks to the side of the hitch right here. When in use, obviously I'm not going to use it today, but we're just putting it all together. There. Go through the chain. Right there, just like that over to your mountain here and with this side right here and of course your turnbuckle goes like this guess is that looking at the directions which you should always do you should always look at the direction. it goes in like that turnbuckle comes up here so when you loosen it so let's go ahead and start loosening our turnbuckle there we go Okay, let's knock this side out real fast. There's that side, turnbuckle. Come over 
here. Then let me go ahead and grab this, loosen our turnbuckle up. Okay. Just through. And then the instructions it says just to hand tighten this. So we'll go ahead and do that, hand tighten this side. Because I'm gonna take this back off, I'm not going to uh, do the, uh, the lock nuts on either side here. But of course you would want to, if you were traveling, that's something you're gonna wanna do. So you pull these chains up taut, hand tighten. Yep, just like that. I wouldn't get any tools, I wouldn't reef on it, just get it tight, bring your jam nut up, nut up and lock it down. Do that to both sides. And be all safe and whatnot, which is exactly what these were purchased for. And oh, you can get some torque on those, I and mean, this thing is tight. No more side to side, yeah. Okay, so last but not least, we'll go ahead and put uh, See that pretty well, hopefully. I already had this, you'll have to buy one. You'll want to make sure you're of the length you'll need for uh, what you're doing, obviously. Mine's a 36 extension, so I know I need roughly that amount of uh, extended cable. Torque lift supplies screws. We just find our slot there. Go. Get the next one up here real fast. Them up. There we go, nice and tight. That'll stay on good. And then we would just route this. Sorry about the shakiness. Right up over top here like this, there's still clearance between the camper to do that, and then plug in here. And voila, there you go. Full on torque lift super truss install with super hitch. It is not a big deal guys, took about three, three and a half hours between the super truss here and doing it. Uh, you could do it, and it's safe, and it makes you're going to make your camper experience much more pleasurable. Um, once I drive around a little more, I'll get into more depth uh, review for it and everything. I'm going elk scouting this weekend. so. Uh, We'll get some time to test it out there and show you guys. So, all right guys, so that concludes the install of the uh, Super Truss and the uh, Super Hitch with the rear camper tie downs. Uh, hopefully you got some value out of this video. I know it wasn't up like in depth install where you got to see every nut and bolt go in. I'm gonna link to a video up here, or up here, one of the sides that'll uh, show you uh, how to install this thing step by step, but still it, it differs from truck to truck guys. You gotta read your directions, you gotta put them, you gotta follow your torque specs and everything as it goes. All I'm saying, it took about three hours to install all this with the rear camper tie downs. It was very intuitive, very easy. I need to learn how to do directions better. Uh, but outside of that, it, it was great, guys. I mean, really, to have this on here, the first day of having it, be able to take this weekend and take, go out scouting and take the horses, I'm so excited. Use weight distribution. When you have an extension this long, I'm gonna get one for the horse trailer eventually. I, I'm well within my weight rating, so I'm okay. Um, do not exceed weight ratings. It will cause lots of problems down the road. Outside that, guys, thanks for watching. We got front camper tie downs on the next video. We got some other torqueless stuff for the camper going on. Of course, we got scouting trips and horseback riding. Also, follow Running Range. Go ahead there and subscribe also uh, to see all our horses and everything. We got hunting, fishing, all sorts of things coming soon. Thanks, you guys, for watching so much and supporting us. Thank you, Torque Lift, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.